Dear students, this is a video which deals with the method of finding the upper and lower bounds, or rather in the textbook it is mentioned as upper limit and lower limit of roots of a polynomial f of x. Rules for determining upper bounds and lower bounds, or rather upper limits and lower limits of the real roots of f of x equal to 0, where f of x is a polynomial. This is what we are going to discuss. Now, what is meant by upper limit? Any number h becomes an upper limit to the roots of f of x is equal to 0 if f of x is strictly greater than 0 when, whenever you have x is greater than or equal to h. So, if you can find an h such that x is, whenever x is greater than or equal to h, if the function becomes, if the polynomial becomes greater than 0, strictly greater than 0, that h is called an upper limit to the roots of f of x equal to 0. Now, lower limit. Now, two methods are, or two definitions are given. Any number minus h dash becomes a lower limit, this must be a lower limit, to the roots of f of x equal to 0 if h dash is an upper limit uh, of the roots of f of minus x equal to 0. So, you find out uh, h dash, which is an upper limit of f of minus x is equal to 0, then minus h dash will be a lower limit to the roots of f of x equal to 0. That's a convenient method. Uh, so, every, every time we will be seeking an upper limit, but in the case of f of uh, x, here it is f of minus x is equal to 0. Change x to minus x and see what we, if we can find an h dash such that uh, x is greater than or equal to uh, h dash, then uh, you just go back to the function f of x then minus h dash will be a lower limit. So, see the thing. Now, the third one, this is a rule for finding a positive limit, lower limit for the positive roots of f of x equal to 0. First of all, you find a net double dash as an upper limit of the positive roots of f of 1 by x. This must be f of 1 by x is equal to 0. Then 1 by x is reciprocal. If you got a number, you, you take its reciprocal. Now, here it is f of 1 by x. Uh, uh, then 1 by h that is reciprocal is a lower limit of the positive roots of f of x equal to 0. Here is positive roots, here it is simply roots, okay. Now, every problem in this uh, case will have to be done with the help of a grouping of terms. We have to group the terms of f of x in such a way that we can find by inspection a number h such that the sum of the terms in each group is greater than or equal to 0 for this must be greater than 0, this must be greater than 0 for x greater than or equal to h. So, we will do one or two problems and you will see how uh, we can find upper limit and lower limit of the uh, roots of the equation. So, this question is find an upper limit and a lower limit for the positive roots of f of x is equal to x cube minus 10x square minus 11x minus 100 is equal to 0. So, we have to group the terms in such a way that we can find an h such that uh, for that x greater than or equal to h, this is strictly greater than 0. So, this is one method of grouping it and let's see how it can be done. You divide x cube into three terms and distribute each one by three terms to each of these terms. So, it is x cube by 3 minus 10x square, x cube minus 3 minus 11x and x cube minus uh, x cube by 3 minus 100. So, you multiply it suitably by 3 uh, throughout, you will be getting it as x cube minus 30x square plus x cube minus 33x plus x cube minus 300. So, you can bring this, uh, so that is 3fx, we are seeking 3fx greater than 0. So, x square, you can bring the common factor as x square into x minus 30 plus x into x is common here, then here nothing is, nothing is common. So, let us deal with this one. Whenever x is greater than 30, whenever x is greater than or equal to 30, you can see that this will be 0. So, greater, greater than or equal to 0, if this will be, if it is 30 square minus 30, it will be strictly greater than 0. This will be x cube, 30 cube means it is somewhat uh, 27,000 something like that. So, you will be getting, the total thing will be greater than 0, strictly greater than 0 when you take x is greater than 30, greater than or equal to 30. Therefore, 30 can be taken as an upper limit to the positive rules of f of x. Now, the upper limit can be improved, it means it can be reduced further, you see, by regrouping the elements in some other way. 
So suppose I multiply here with 6, f, uh, 6 is throughout by 6. This is the given f of x. If you multiply here 6, it will be having 6x cubed minus 60x squared minus 66x uh, and minus 600. Now this 6x cube, we can take 4x cube here and 2x uh, cubes to the last two terms. Then you will be getting it. This must be uh, 600 actually. This must be 600. Uh, there's a mistake. So anyhow, 4x square into x minus 4 into 50 is 16. Uh, 60. Then here it is. Uh, uh, here it is x cube uh, minus 66 means x into x square minus 66. Then you can see that whenever x is greater than or equal to 15, every term will be greater than or equal to uh, greater than zero. Strictly greater than zero. Therefore, 15 can be taken as an upper limit to the positive square, uh, positive roots of f of x. So we have reduced from 30 to 15. So grouping uh, suitably the terms, you can find the upper limits most favorably. Now to find a lower limit, we deal with f of 1 by x. f of 1 by x, if you look at this f of x, if you put f of 1 by x, this uh, 1 by x uh, 1 by x cube comes with here. So you'll be getting it as minus, 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 and this will become 1. So I'll be rewriting it as minus 100x cube minus 11x square minus 10x plus 11. So this is equal to 0 means if you multiply with uh, minus, you'll be getting 100x cube plus 11x square plus 10x minus 1 equal to 0. You can group the terms in such a way that 5x square into 20x uh, minus 11. So this is a quadratic equation. The, there are two roots. You can find it using minus p plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. The greater of the roots, you can get it as 1.403 by uh, 16. Uh, so if you take x greater than or equal to, uh, this is greater than or equal to, this is uh, the upper limit 1.5 by 16, you'll be getting this is greater than 0, this is greater than 0, this also we can see that it is greater than 0. Therefore, uh, uh, the lower limit of the positive roots of f of x. See here, this is, we have found out f of upper limit of this one. So the lower limit, as we discussed in the previous case, you can see that it's reciprocal, namely reciprocal of this one. It is 16 by 1, 1.5, uh, which is 10.6. So the lower limit of the positive roots can be taken as 10.6. So one more question we will do, then will, it will be clear to you. Find an upper limit and a lower limit uh, for the roots of this equation. f of x equals 3x raised to 4 minus 61x cubed plus 127x squared plus 220x minus 520 equal to 0. And here is x raised to 4. We'll have to group this for finding up our upper limit. We have to group it. Uh, see how we are grouping it. Uh, here we are considering these two, these three terms and bring this x square outside. And the remaining is 220x minus 520. Now um, see the great, see the upper limit of this root, uh, the, the greater of this root will be 17.9. So this will be greater than zero for, for values greater than equal. So this also is 220 into 17.9 minus 520 is always greater than zero. Therefore, you can have eight, take the, the upper limit as an integer as a upper limit as 18, 17.9. Uh, greater than that is 18, therefore you can have an integer, if you want an integer, it is 18 is an, uh, an upper limit of the roots. Now, similarly, f of minus x, this is uh, regarding fi finding the lower limit means you find the upper limit of f of minus x, so you can t uh, see that uh, for, uh, you are, we, are, we are regrouping the same polynomial in a different way. Uh, so that um, we have taken, we are taking 3x raised to 4 and minus 20, and the remaining is x into something like that. Yeah, x into that. You, it's, you after taking f of minus x, change x, x to minus x, and regroup it. You can see that the, the see this is uh, quadratic sin whose upper limit is. Uh, limit is uh, four, 3 point something, you'll be getting, you can take it as x greater than or equal to 4. This is minus 4. The, this is regarding f of minus x. So you got uh, some s dash as uh, 4 for f of minus x. Therefore, if negative, will be lower limit of f of x is equal to 0. Po, uh, po, lower limit uh, for the roots, not positive roots, lower limit. for. So it is between minus 4 and 18, the roots of the given equation lies. So thank you all for watching this video and if you have any doubt you can ask.